tell anybody but Sentry. Sentry's on a secret mission. We gotta try to catch some bait. It is April 17th. It's night time. The sentry's being sneaky. Gonna try to catch a few gills to use. Bear with me and let's see if we can do anything. I've got my doubts, really. I'd rather catch them gills during the daytime. Let's see what we can do. It's raining out, barely. Just got the camcorder set up and it started raining again. Gonna be hard to see. I'm trying to fish float. Did go out fishing last night for just a little while. Thought I'd try to get some uh, walleye or something. Only stayed for a couple of hours. Was up there with old Linkless. I should have known better than even got my rod out of the car. Because when old Linkless is around, he's just going to get them all. And he found this product to beat it all. It's called Fish Away. And whenever he's not going to be there, he pours that in the water when he knows I'm going to be out maybe the next day or something. But we're going to have to find a way to deal with old Linkless. I keep thinking if I can ever convince Bunny to just give Jordan to old Linkless. I mean, because all they talk about is bass all the time. So, I mean, that's what, you know, Marv's not got any on Linkless. He hadn't got any kids at home anymore. He does have that grandson. But now, if we could just get Jordan there, I mean, he could aggravate Linkless to no end. Definitely need me a light stick on this float. I'm gonna get wet with this just, just drizzle. I may try to may have to try to cover my camera some. What I'm trying is a little old Berkeley gulp minnow. It's about an inch long. Secret weapon sometimes. Not going to tell anybody where I'm fishing. Used to fish this place. Well, if I say that, uh, old Bunny and old Lankless will know because they know where I used to fish way back when. Got a feeling I should have brought me some chicken livers. I saw some lightning back off in the background. This may end up being a very non-productive secret mission. I've only had one strike, and that's before I ever set the camera up. Yeah, definitely ready to get started into uh, pursuing the flatheads. haven't got a report lately of what the water temperature is. Last I heard, I think on the upper end of the lake, I believe I heard it was about 60, I think, maybe 62. And that's uh, good enough and time for me to be getting the boat ready been doing a little bit with it but uh, not quite ready yet I may have to try to get me a piece of night crawler or something to put on here see if that'll wake them up a little bit better 
this rate I'm not going to stay that long let me get me some night crawler if they're not going to do any better than this see if this will do a little bit better maybe Well, I think the rain has quit again. Uh, pull this hood off. Get tired of hearing that rustling through there because of my hearing aids. You know, they make their claims on those uh, Berkeley Gulp things, how great they are. You know, and sometimes it may be, but uh, just like now, see, I've already started getting a hit once I put that uh, piece of worm on. But he's not going to keep going after it, doesn't look like. Yeah, I was hoping to be able to come over here and get a good many gills, but I guess I'm going to have to do it in the daytime. Oh, well, that one, boy, he smacked it good. That's the best hit I've had. Let's see, now, did he get all the worm? No. I think probably what he did, he grabbed that, uh, got about an inch of the tail hanging off. I'm betting that's, he grabbed that and took it under. Come on, Gillies, need you for bait. One thing about fishing, this particular area here, there's so many uh, Christmas trees that people have dumped off in here. And I mean, oh, you can stay hung continually. I don't know, this is the first time I've been here since last year, so I don't know how much worse it is. I know it looked like last year, like they'd people put hundreds of them in here I mean, it's good structure and all that'll keep the bait fish around of course that'll bring in your flatheads and your bass and your crappie well let's check this out we still got any worm on Yeah. But what's the problem, Fishy? I guess he just got the part that wasn't on the hook. Normally, in this particular area, I mean, if you when you drop a bait in the water, be it chicken livers, night crawlers anything like that i mean if you're trying to fish the bottom i mean you can't even hardly get your bait on the bottom before the bluegill have just robbed it all but the water temperature here may be still a little cold i used to spend back in the 70s, I'll just go ahead and say it, on this place where I used to fish. Of course, all I even did back then, basically, was night fish. Just always been my preferred time. But back then, I was hardcore bass, and 
I pulled many a fish out of this section in about a uh, quarter to a half mile area. A lot of fond memories. Remember last year took old hunting hub well he took me we were in his boat and uh, so I just let him you know fish however he wanted to fish and I just did what I did and finally said before we left I wanted to check this one bank that I used to fish so much and just throw the same kind of plugs and plastic worms I mean because I've still got stuff from back in the 70s and uh, so I put on a old time crankbait old humpback rebel with rattlers and uh, it was about the second cast landed pretty good little old large mouth and then as we eased on down the bank I said well here's where I want to try my old plastic worm so I pulled out an old man's jelly worm and uh, blackberry I think it was and first cast had one on and got him up you know near the boat and come up he's probably about four pounds but I mean it was something you know some of these waters they they just don't change I mean if they have the right type of structure and all around them the fish will use them year after year that just was sort of proof to me Old Hub didn't quite know what to think about that. <laughs> no cooperation. Come on, fish. And also, as far as this area goes, about a quarter of a mile from here on out the lake, I was around a, a point out there one night. And I always fished really close to the bank. Uh, I mean, I'd be within six to eight feet of it. And uh, this was back when the bass boat craze hit. And uh, they must have, and tournaments got started so big. And then I about got wiped out around, around that point. These guys come flying around through there. Uh, said I wouldn't get back out on the lake again. Sold my boat and just went to the mountains and got into my other passion, which was fly fishing for trout. Did that for many, many years until I went to South Carolina. And then down there, I wasn't gonna be doing much trout fishing where I was at, so bought another boat and started bass fishing again and then got into cat fishing and then came back to Tennessee sold my boat when I was down there before I moved back and so I, I didn't figure I'd ever get another boat I figured I'd just stay in the mountains fly fishing but things changed I got to thinking about those catfish I used to catch in South Carolina so now that's what I'm pursuing and flatheads my passion just not another fish like it in my opinion somebody made the comment that uh, outdoor life somebody wrote an article about uh, catfish or something about or said something about flatheads in particular and uh, how it was the ugliest fish and so on and so forth and I really made some derogatory comments and which I think was uncalled for apparently the person sure doesn't know much about the fish of course everybody has their fish that they're passionate about and maybe ones that they hate but I started studying about flatheads. Oh, I don't know how many years ago it's been now, but didn't get to start pursuing them until a couple of years ago. And 
the fish just totally intrigues me. I'm not going to bore you anymore with this unproductive uh, secret mission. So I'm going to cut the camera off. I may continue fishing here for a bit and see if I do anything and then be able to maybe go down here to another little area on down the bank. So for now, until the next time, this is Sentry signing off.